Okay guys, I'm full set up, um, ready to start assembling the return uh, piping to the tanks. So this is what I've devised um, to, to be the return to, the, to each of the tanks. I've got to make 20 of these. Um, I'm going to try and, well, I've only got um, 15 taps, I've been to two different Bunnings um, and cleared them out. I accidentally bought one of the taps with um, thread on them. Uh, I, need, I, need, I need the solvent based threading, so uh, no threading basically. Um, so I accidentally bought one with threading, so that's a bit of a waste, but it doesn't matter. I'll find some other use for that eventually, one day, eventually. Um, but yeah, point of this video is I'm going to show you how to make these, um, how I'm going to assemble them, and I'm not going to show you the whole 15 of them being made, but um, yeah, I'm going to. Uh, PVC cement these together and um, we'll see how we go. The only part that's not going to be cemented together is this bit. So I want to be able to direct the flow in the aquarium and I may also put an attachment on here and flatten it down with some PVC, 15mm PVC to make it like a little nozzle um, using the heat gun but um, that's for something, a project for a later date but so for now that is going to be loose um, so I can direct the flow in the aquarium like that uh, but everything else you see here will be PVC cemented so um, I've spent the last hour or so cutting up all these pieces not even an hour uh, cutting up all these pieces with the PVC cutting tool um, and yeah I think I'm ready to go so I've got this this is the PVC cement I've been using um, it's suitable for use to, to come in contact with drinking water. So if you basically see that on any product, it's pretty much safe for aquarium use. If it's safe for potable water, then um, it should be right for the aquariums. We start off with these reducer couplings. So this is a 25 mil to 20 mil coupling. So it's going to be coming off a 25 mil T. Uh, so. I'm not going to show you that bit tonight because I haven't cut all the 25mm pipe yet. Uh, my PVC uh, cutter isn't big enough to cut that pipe unfortunately, so I'm going to do it with the hacksaw. Uh, I'm going to need to sand those edges down. So I'm just going to show you from here um, up, basically. That goes to one of these, so that will go into there. It's basically like building some Lego. Um, I'm not going to press it all the way in obviously then this coupling is uh, 20 to 20 mil to 15 mil coupling and that will go onto that and then from there we get a 15 mil cut so this pipe was a meter long and I've cut it into two centimeter sections pop that in there and then we put the tap on Anyway, I don't want to press them in because um, I won't be able to get them back out until I've previously cemented them. So, let's get cracking, shall we? I'm going to put my mask back on properly now um, and we'll get a start. So I like to wipe off any excess. And we'll, we're going to put the PVC cement on the inside of this pipe. Just like this, just the coating, and then we slide this piece in as far as we can go, and that joins pretty quickly. So now I'm going to put this, the 20 mil to 15 mil coupling onto this pivot, the 15, uh, the 20 mil pipe. So this is 20 mil pipe here. I'm going to slide that on there. But first, we're going to put PVC cement on the inside of this. So wipe off all the excess of this brush because there's way too much on this brush right now. Wipe enough all the excess and, in, and inside of this we just swirl it around. Get a nice coating on there. And then with a slight twist pop it on as far as you can go. And that's on. So, there we go. I want it to be flush, the join, as close as possible because I don't want too much distance in this height. So you can see there we've assembled this part now. 
So the next bit is we're gonna put some PVC cement on the inside of this and use one of the 15 mil pipes that I've cut up. So again, remove all the excess PVC cement off this brush. Pop it in there. This brush is a bit too big for this job. That's right. Okay, and then we'll push one of these right in there as far as it will go. It's probably a little bit too far, but that's okay. And that's in. Now we've made the attachment to attach one of the taps. So what I'm going to do here is I want all the taps to turn the same way. So you'll notice the tap has this notch here. So if I was to apply the tap like this tap, like this onto this pipe, you see there's no notch on this side, the notch is on this side. So I want all the taps to have that notch on the top left corner when you're viewing the tap like this. Otherwise, half the taps will have to turn one way and the other half will have to turn the other way. So I want to be able to turn them this way. I know when they're turned that way, that's the close and that's to open all the taps. So I'm just going to make sure that that notch is in the top left corner of the tap, of every tap. I've done this exact same thing on all the drains. It's very easy to mess that up or not even realize that it's something you should, kind of should look out for. And there we go. Slight twist. And that's on. Just let that cement for about 30 seconds. And we're almost up. We're up to the next elbow. Or the first elbow really, sorry. So to get that elbow on there, one of these guys, we're gonna to have to pop another one of these 15 mil pipes into here. So I'm gonna put some PVC cement in here now. Bear in mind guys, I've got to do this 20 times, one for each tank. Um, yeah, this is be a bit time consuming, but I don't mind doing it. It's actually uh, kind of therapeutic. So just push that in as far as it can go. So I'm going to put PVC cement in here. Now, the key with this part now, we really need to get this aligned because we want it to be straight into the aquarium like that. So you kind of eyeball it with the tap, with the whole thing to make sure that that hole is 90 degrees. In it goes. It's enough. Again, we'll just try and line it up as best as I can. Small twist to make it watertight. And then I think that's good enough. Hopefully it is. <laughs> And now we've built that. So now we just need to cement one more 15 mil little section in to this top bit. And uh, that's the first, that will be the first uh, return cemented together. So let's get it. Next piece, PVC cement in here. Radio, and then last elbow will go onto here. So I'll just let that dry a little bit more. It's looking good. Nice and secure. You can see there's no gaps where we're putting these bits. I didn't want any gaps because I didn't want this. Um, excessively high, any higher than it needed to be. So um, I've cut these, it looks like I've, with the parts I've used so far, cut them just the right size. Last piece I'm gonna cement onto this bit. Uh, doesn't matter which end you pick. Okay, there's more than enough in there. So when you do it, you generally wanna put it on and then twist. 
that creates the, it, the, tight, the watertight seal. So I've had to make sure that that was pointing directly back down. The next bit really is not being silicon. So that, that basically enters the tank like this. So this, you'll have the, you'll have the back of the, the tank is here, the back of the tank is here. The lid has the corner cut out here. And this sits in that corner of the tank. So water could drain out of this, it's, it's fine like that. Uh, you can add an attachment, make an attach, make a spray bar if you want. Uh, at the moment all I'm going to be doing is using these little elbows uh, to direct the water flow in the tank. Uh, I could make the elbows out of 15mm pipe and bend them with a heat gun, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to, I, I, I'll be pretty inconsistent if, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not the greatest in PVC, uh, but I haven't had to do this this plumbing on, on this level ever. I had, did have a marine tank a few years ago, and um, I did the plumbing on that, but there was nowhere near as, it was nowhere near as complex as this. I created the dorsal stand pipe for that. Uh, and you know, hooked up the protein skimmer and all that. So uh, that's that's my experience with PVC. But as far as bending PVC with a heat gun and making nice elbows, twenty of them, um, I wouldn't get it consistent. And I want you know the, the inside of the tank to look nice um, and, and consistent. So that's why I bought all the elbows uh, rather than making them myself. But yeah, as I said, these these two pieces aren't going to be aren't going to be uh, PVC cemented together. You see I'm putting quite a bit of force on that. So that's that's in there. It doesn't have to be watertight. This is it, this will be sitting within the water of the aquarium. So I can just sit that on there now. And as you can see, I can direct it whichever way I want. I can have it coming out straight or directing it towards the middle of the aquarium like that. I hope you can see that on the camera, guys. Pretty happy with that. So I just need to do that another 18 times. Well, 19, because this is a PVC cemented together. I might just change the camera angle now and show you uh, one of these sitting in the tank or on the edge of the, on the, edge of the tank. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna place it um, in the aquarium just to show you what it will, how it goes in. Um, you can take the lid off, obviously. So it basically will sit in the corner like that. I'll show you what it will look like. So the end pieces, when it's connected to the rest of the aquariums, um, the end pieces will have elbows that connect to a primary um, drain or inlet. And um, the middle tanks will have a T-piece coming off um, each one that goes to the next aquarium and then the next aquarium. So I'll show you what that looks like now. So as you can see here, I've added a, the T attachment, the T piece to the bottom. So um, from here, we're gonna have, uh, if this tank was in the middle of the, and there was a tank on either side of it, there'll be a pipe here going to the next tank and a pipe going that way to the next tank. And then another one of these going up to feed that, to feed water into that tank. Um, and yeah, like I said, the two end tanks will have elbows instead of a T piece, if that makes sense. Um, ho hopefully that's clear enough, guys. Oh, my light just ran out. So um, yeah, that's how the um, all these are gonna be connected to the tanks. So um, I'll just keep get cracking. That bloody light <laughs> keeps running out of that power. They say it's meant to last for four hours, but it, I reckon it lasts for about not even an hour on a full charge. But um, anyway, yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, and I'll get cracking and continue to build the rest of these with all the taps that I've got left. See you guys.